Good evening everyone and welcome uh, to the latest update from myself. I hope that you and your families have enjoyed half term and enjoyed the absolutely glorious weather and taken some time for relaxation. Um, I'd like to, I'd, ideally I'd like to start with celebrating what we've done in school over the last um, few weeks but unfortunately we're still in the midst of Covid and I need to start today's update with a Covid uh, update and just to let you know where we are. Over the holidays I've been in contact with local public health about what's been going on in the local areas and as I am sure you are aware the local infection rates are still rising. The Delta variant or the Indian variant is still in the community and it's, that's transmissible up to about 40% more than um, the Kent variant which was in the community. Um, so um, things still aren't in the best place which means that on the guidance from public health we're still going to continue to wear face coverings in classrooms and around the building. Now we're going to recommend that all students do this, we'll still continue to provide face coverings for any student who doesn't bring one in um, and this is to make sure that we're as safe as possible. One of the key things we need to do is make sure that everyone is safe and obviously we have so many families living together we don't want anyone at risk of getting any type of infection. So um, we want to do everything that we can to try and keep the school as safe as possible. For those students who are exempt, please make sure that you um, get them to wear their lanyards around their necks and their badges. If they've lost them, they must see Miss Finch as soon as possible because we will challenge students and we will ask students to put face masks on um, if we see them without them. Obviously, if a student has got uh, an exemption, it's a blue uh, little blue uh, lanyard with a card, then we don't have to do that. So that's just an update from here. In the conversations I've had with public health, they're also um, wanting more testing to be done in the community to try and really get uh, on top of it. So um, next week um, I will be sending out more information about this but they will be wanting every family to do a PCR test at home which is the gold standard test to send that off and then follow it up with two lateral flow devices. Now in the first instance um, we didn't get a huge amount of uptake for our lateral flow testing at school, about 36% and we really need that to be higher so we'll be communicating that with you. Obviously that will be completely at your discretion but the more people we get tested the easier it is for everyone. So this is a message for the year 11, so well done. Um, it's been the most bizarre experience that you've had in school and such a turmoil over the last year and a half for you. And my heart goes out to each and every one of you and, and the disruption that this has caused. But you have been a brilliant year group, so thank you very much for everything you've put in. Miss Hawkins um, has now sent a, a timetable out of all of the times when you can come back into school. And there's a variety of different things on option. Uh, there are bridging units for your A-levels, there is careers workshops, there's wellbeing workshops. There's a whole host of different things that you can um, get involved with. So when you're coming into school, please make sure that you're in full uniform and obviously all of the usual uh, rules and everything still apply. So we look forward to seeing you um, until the end of June, which is when the government say that you can finally leave. Um, so that's it for me. Oh, sorry, no, a further update is everything that we're doing about um, working with Holly Lynch and what's happened um, around the Palestinian um, crisis. So again, I've been uh, talking with Holly over the last half term, um, over the last week. Um, she is going to be contacting the primary school students who have written a letter. She is going to be coming into school in July to speak with um, students about what her experiences of when she went to Palestine. And also in July, this is when we're hoping to get students down to London. And we've agreed that there'll be a competition to be held. Uh, this will be about um, how can I use my voice to change the world? And students will be expected to either write a two-sided essay or a five-minute video um, explaining how they can use their voice to change the world. And then Holly will judge the best ones to invite them down to London. Um, obviously, that the school will provide all the funds and, and, and costs for that. Um, so that's what we are moving forward. I've also been in contact with local councillors and the council of mosques as well to talk to them about how we can um, improve our community partnerships. So that's it from me. Um, I hope everybody's well. I look forward to seeing all the children back at the usual time um, on Monday and take care.